I know a lot of you have probably seen the controversy that's been going on with Mr. Beast here lately and things that have been going on just across celebrities and people getting exposed this year across the YouTube platform and just celebrities in general getting exposed at all levels it seems like and they did say that that was going to happen in 2024 actually a couple different people did say that and it's coming to fruition because people are just getting exposed for who they really are but guys unless you personally like know somebody you've got to be really careful with hearsay about what you hear about people you've really got to understand something now a lot of people are saying is it the end of mr beast absolutely not He's a billionaire. It's a huge platform. He owns all these businesses on like YouTube. He has everything else going on. Big scandal and controversy going on with him right now. And a lot of people are saying, well, he's guilty because he's been going back and re-editing some of his videos and removing like evidence. And there was grooming going on in the organization. And he knew about all this other stuff going on and about how he's been going out and he steals people's ideas and he uses people and he tortures people in his videos and how his videos are fake and everything and I cannot say for sure guys but as people keep coming forward we will know more and more as it continues to come to light but the biggest problem with something like this is is that whenever you have people coming forward there's gonna be a lot of people coming forward that are trying to sue just because they're jumping on the bandwagon and it happens all the time guys you're gonna have people that are gonna be trying to jump forward to try to get publicity of their own happens whenever anybody is famous guys it happens it does not matter if they're actually guilty or not they'll come forward and say things that never actually happened these are all things to keep in mind as the mr beast scandal continues and everything and again Unless if you know exactly what's going on and exactly what's happening, you were actually there, guys. You can't say for sure that everything is being said is the truth. And, again, there's a lot of hearsay, and you got to be careful with hearsay. Now, some of it is true, but like what I always say with hearsay, and like what anybody that actually knows a lot better hearsay will tell you, about 20% of it's probably true, and the rest of it's just kind of being over-exaggerated. That's the problem with the internet these days and everything. Everything gets over-exaggerated to the point of where it's just ridiculous. Now, the people that are coming out and speaking out about this, I'm not saying that they're liars. I'm not saying that they're not telling the truth about anything. I'm just saying this is what happens a lot. I don't know Mr. Beast. I've never been in any of his videos and everything I can't say for sure about what's going on but it's kind of like the theory of money does control the world so you've got to be careful with this and a lot of people will do anything for, for, for money and it's like the deal the people that have the money have the power and that's just the way it is and that's something that you have to understand as well it's like and when you have the money it's like if you're trying to sue a business let's say for example that you're trying to sue like amazon a company like amazon for example now i don't know what why you would be but you're trying to sue them because of something that happened or something they have like 600 buck like, lawyers on their payroll at the corporate level you're only going to be able to afford to meet like, one attorney you're not going to be able to compete with that because that they can sit there for years and continue to bleed your funds dry until you eventually just give up and you can't afford to pay your like, like lawyer anymore. That's exactly like what I'm talking about. The people that have the money have the control and the power to do things. Now, with that being said, am I saying that rich people are all evil and corrupt and they buy their way into things absolutely not i have people in my family who are extremely well off business owners extremely like like wealthy individuals and they're fantastic people they truly do care about people they give to charities and everything guys but money doesn't like make the person but it's like what they also say money is the root of all evil the love of money is the root of all evil a lot of people say it's just the money but it's the love of money that's the root of all evil and it truly is because people value that above all and everything else so when it comes to things like this when it comes to the mr beast scandal 
or anything along those lines, guys, make sure before you speak out about it. He actually just posted another video today, and within the first 10 minutes, it had like 780,000 views on it. So I don't think he's falling off any, and he's definitely not going anywhere, and YouTube, or, YouTube is not going to lose their golden boy, guys. He makes them way too much money, and he just draws in people to the platform and draws people into his videos, which leads people to other videos. And the ad revenue that they make off his videos alone are, is so huge. So just keep things in mind, though, guys, as this continues and as it continues to unfold. But there are more and more people coming forward. And there's been people who've actually worked for him that have actually came out and said things about this and said, well... You know, this is the way it is, and how he doesn't actually randomly pick people for his videos. And that could be the case. Or it could be a fact that they were just on a timeline, and somebody got sick, and they had to put somebody else in the videos. Again, unless if you're actually there, you don't know. And there is such a thing as people who are an ex-employee just being mad because, well, they're mad because they got let go, or they're mad because they weren't acting right and they got exposed to stuff though but there is a lot of things coming to light about this situation but the biggest problem is is there's no evidence there's no hard concrete evidence and that's what you gotta have in order for somebody to be found guilty is you have to have the evidence to actually show that they're guilty and this is something that has I get to be showed and it's just the way it is guys and attorneys and everything again if you can afford attorneys and somebody like somebody like Mr. Beast has got attorneys on his staff I'm sure and everything because when you get that big you have to it's just like any big business it's just like Walmart because if you trip and fall and stuff though they got to have those people on staff we try to sue them for something they got those people on staff to take care of that stuff I've worked for companies like that before, and yeah, they just have a whole team, dozens and dozens and dozens of like lawyers on their staff. So, as this continues to develop, guys, Mr. Beast is not going anywhere, guys. His platform is not going anywhere. His feastables, bars are not going anywhere, and there's just so many things to be said. But this had actually been being said for years, though, too. People have been saying... His videos were not real, and he wasn't actually giving people the money. And that has actually been being said and been brought to light more and more, if it is true, that he doesn't actually let people keep the cash, but he says, hey, I'll pay you later. But then he said in another interview that he actually gives the people the option if they want either the prize or something else. And he even said himself that, in another interview that he actually gets people to react differently to videos because a lot of people just stand and be like, oh, thanks, Jimmy, and stuff, though. But then there's other people out there who he wants a big reaction, like, thank you. Like, this is going to help me pay off everything I owe and everything. He wants people to act that way in his videos for the reaction and the crowd views and everything. And I get it. But if everything else is true too, then kind of not a kind of that not a good thing. But again, I wasn't there, so I don't know. And these are just things to keep in mind, guys, because I'm sure that you've uh, had uh, people in your life and friends of yours tell you, "Well, stay away from them because they tell you all the stuff about somebody, and it isn't even true. That person just made that stuff up to get you to not hang out with them or try to ruin the people's like reputation." And people are that way, guys. People will people have ill intentions for you. They want to ruin your reputation, especially if you're doing really well and they're not. They don't like seeing people doing well. And this could be people in your own family. This could be friends of yours that you've had for 20 years. It does not matter. They don't want what's best for you. They want you they want to drag you down to their level and put you down there with them because they don't want to see you being above them. In fact, they'll try to drag you down below their level, guys. Believe me, I've had that happen. I've been doing well, and then some of those people closest to you will be the biggest sabotagers of them all. Beware, guys, and be careful about who you trust and never trust anybody completely because you can't. 
because naturally human beings just aren't we aren't good none of us are good people we all have things about us that are bad and everything so there's no such thing as a good person there's just people that aren't quite as bad as others so keep that in mind at the end of the day guys Stay vigilant, stay ready. God bless each and every one of you. I'm Jared with Jonah Exploration and Discovery. Subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads. Thank you for watching Jonah Exploration and Discovery.